my name is Anne Solomon. I'm the mother of Jibril, Jamin, Imran, Imran, Isra, and Maryam. I grew up in Canada. For the past 10 years, I've lived here in Sweden with my husband and our children. I have dedicated my life to take care of my children and to be there for them every day and every night. My husband has also been there for them and for me. They have also a family of grandparents, uncles, aunts, and cousins who love them and who have always been there for them. But suddenly we were attacked by people who made all kinds of lies about us and accusations, using that to steal our children away from us. And for the past year, I have been punished with the worst possible punishment a mother can go through to have all of my children stolen away from me. They have been putting them in homes, exposed to alcohol, and telling the families to feed them with pork, knowing that we live a life of faith. And in the middle of all of this, I'm being also threatened to be deported from Sweden, away from my husband and all of my children. We recently made a speech to the Prime Minister of Sweden, Ulf Christensen, to explain to him our situation and to request of him to do something to stop this madness. I told him that I hope that he's an honest man, since an honest man would never allow a mother of five children born in this country to be thrown away from her whole family. I also told him that I'm willing to leave Sweden freely if I'm not allowed to be here, but my children must first be returned to me. I'm not leaving without them. I hope you who listen help us to share our story and to pray for our family. My name is Susan. I am the grandmother of Jibril, Yamil, Imran Inbar, Isra and Mariam. Five out of my 11 beautiful grandchildren, and they are all very dear to me. I have lived in this country for all my life and always felt very proud of it. Sadly to say, after 60 years, I have discovered that there are people in this country abusing their power and split families. It seems to me, especially to families living with faith. We have tried for more than one year to make them listen to us, but they have chosen to keep their ears closed and they don't even come back to us. I want to testify that we are a loving family who puts our, all our children as the highest priority. The harassment my family is exposed to is a shame for my country and I hope you will share our story to get the stop of this oppression. Thank you.